Oh, that worked out good. No, I, I know we can put everything away here. I don't have to worry about it destroying my turbine. See, it's in absorb here now. It's making some heat. It's the new one I just finished here. Today we have a 25 kilometer an hour wind. It's in between 20 and 25k. So we're that's one of my arrays. It's a thousand watt array here. It's only making 84 watts. Oh, everything's pretty much topped up. I didn't use much power last night on purpose, just so I can test this. Don't blow it here. And it hasn't been very windy at all the last few days. The wind here has only been blowing for a couple hours. It's made 0.6 kilowatts. I made 100 watts. That one hasn't made nearly as much because that one usually when it hits absorb this one will go to resting and it puts all the power to the resistor and it doesn't register. Same with this one too when it's dumping through the SSR here it doesn't register. So anything the heater makes is not on there. Absorb again, now it's dumping. And uh, I was at the wind turbine, you can't even see the turbine jerk or anything, it's smooth now. So yeah, I'll be able to take these off here right away. Clean up all my wiring, put that clipper control inside of its container. Seems to work all right. It's kind of a westerly wind today, so it's kind of has to go around some trees to do any good. Not the best direction. I'll go up to the wind turbines and take a video of them. Right now. Hey, I'm here. A couple minutes later. Okay, when you see this little one speed up, that means it's dumping its power into that resistor. When it's actually charging the battery, it these slower speeds I 
And you'll notice too, this one, the big one hardly ever changes its RPMs. It doesn't go up much at all. I'll just pause it here till I get a gust of wind. Weird, it's probably dumping right now. It's amazing how quiet that big turbine is. You, you don't hear the blades at all. Nothing. It's definitely not very windy here today. Definitely happy I changed the freak the ohms in that resistor. I don't even see it jerk at all now. It's so smooth. It's definitely been dumping since I started videoing here. Batteries are full.
well. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, today's Sunday, so on Saturday, Friday or Saturday, I'll be taking this one down because I'm going to work. Back to the pipeline. And I don't know when I'm going to be home. I'll just let it sit on its cribbing there. Pull the blades off. And wrap it up with some poly. So it's not getting any unnecessary wear from the rain and weather. So easy to take down now. I have the winch there. I use that as a jib pull. In about five minutes I can have it down. I've got the turnbuckles there. Just loosen them off. On each one. And uh, the hook from the winch goes directly into the loop. On there. The jib pull hooks up right there where those two clamps are. And it goes down a matter of minutes. They're both the same. It's a matter of loosening the turnbuckles and hooking the winch up. One crescent wrench.